Hi folks, this is John on the Wingman 115 channel. Thanks for checking in. I was recently tagged by a good friend here on YouTube. His name is Justin and his YouTube channel name is Guns for Fun CA Justin and Jenna. What Justin wanted to know was, what EDC system do I carry and for me to show it to you folks? Well, today I had a little bit of time and I had an opportunity to uh, do this video. What I'll do is I'll cut away and I'll show you a tabletop view. I carry two systems. I have one for when I'm off work and then one when I'm on duty uh, in the corporate world. So we'll cut away. I'll share both those systems and then I'll give you some thoughts and maybe we'll tag a few folks in the process. Come along. All right, folks, let's get this party started. Let's start with my work EDCs. Now, a lot of this stuff will change as I'm testing gear or the time of year that uh, we happen to be in. If you folks been a fan of the channel, you'll know that I did a video review on this. I carry this one every day. It's the Leatherman Wingman. And it's still holding up really good. You can find these still at your local big box uh, hardware store retailer for around 30 bucks. And that's just a great piece of kit to have. I invite you to check that video out really like those this is a knife that I also tested in the project and this is the SCHA 5BR and it has the magic assist I've been using it now for months the blade is holding up extremely well and I just love that magic assist system and also the lock on there so that's what I'm carrying every day at work for my light it's a little bit bulky but I keep it in my back pocket it's my through night and it's the Archer A2 V2 great flashlight double A's just works awesome I've had no uh, issues with this light other than you can hear the batteries jiggle around but I mean I'll forgive them for that it's just a great light great throw on this light works really good now let's set all those up top let's start with my off-duty edc well i carry this one on both this is my iphone and we don't need to go through all the different things that are, these smartphones can be used for there's you're only limited by your imagination on that next up is my spyderco endura 4. i just love this knife just rides really well in the hand. This is a newer one. I had one that had serrations and I carried that for about 12 years. And it was just a beast. So I thought, hey, what the heck? When it wore out, that I would get another one? And we keep that in the rotation. This is a new piece of kit that I've been testing out while I'm off duty. And this is from Schrade. This is their ceramic neck knife. And this is the SCH 406. I'll be doing a gear review on this real soon, but uh, I'm liking this. And I carry this while I'm jogging, while I'm out and about, just keep it underneath the shirt. Great little piece of kit, really light. Look for the review on that one real soon. Now, this piece of kit, let's slide this over a little bit. I put this together a while back. This is kind of like my off-duty urban preparedness kit, and yeah, it's a little bit big and bulky, but uh, you know I keep it with me all the time just because you never know. And a lot of folks give me a hassle about this because it, it weighs pretty good. I would say probably about a pound and a half, but whenever somebody needs something fixed, they're the first one to go, hey, John, can you reach into your little bag of tricks and uh, take care of this for me? Well, I bought a Night Eyes case, and I believe these were on closeout at REI. A while back and they were about 10 bucks on the inside I have a lighter I also have a little thumb drive and over the years I've downloaded gosh probably about 12 or 14 gigs worth of data just with manuals preparedness just things like that on there just good to have. You never know where you're going to be where you may have access to a computer to use all those manuals. For my little flashlight, 
I have a little through night. This is the TI3. Also did a review on this. Great little light. Awesome light. It's hard to keep my wife and daughter from not stealing this light from me all the time. This is a new piece of kit that I've added. This is the Leatherman Raptor. And anybody who's an EMT, law enforcement, search and rescue is probably really familiar with these. But this is just a great piece of kit and has a little seat belt cutter, has an oxygen bottle wrench. Get that out of the way so we don't cut ourselves. Has a little graduated uh, ruler on there. I must say that these are really sharp shears. Also has a glass breaker. Just an awesome piece of kit. And last but not least is my Leatherman rebar. And my Leatherman rebar is just a beefed up version of the wingman. And what I like is that it has the replaceable wire cutters in there and just has a boatload of tools. I made a little pull to make it easier to get it out of the case if I ever needed it. And this is my little kit that I carry. Now, like I said, as the seasons change, as my skill set changes, some of these items are rotated out and new items rotated in just because I do a lot of gear testing and I want to see the functionality and the durability that a lot of these items are going to play in your kit. So far, I've had no issue with any one of these items that are on the table here. And I'll bring these down to get them within frame too. All great pieces of kit. These are all items that aren't going to break the bank. There's no item here that's over $100. I believe everything is like $80 and under each. So you could really cost effectively put together a really nice kit. You've had a chance to see my kit. Leave some comments down below on your thoughts of my kit. What I can improve on, what I should have, what's missing, whatever. Be nice, I'll be reading these comments though. Now, I'm gonna pick three fellow YouTubers and we're gonna EDC check them. One's gonna be Prepper Kip, another one is gonna be Mr. Leonidas, and the third one is gonna be Swiss Army Zippo. So you three have been tagged. I look forward to seeing what you have in your kits. Folks, I thank you so much for watching. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I urge you to subscribe. There's a lot of good things going on here. Don't miss out on the fun. All the links are down below to my social media. I encourage you to join some of those as well. Folks, this is John with the Wingman 115 channel. Thanks for checking in, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.